The way that we connect learning to jobs and really skills needed in the labor force is by one, leveraging data. So understanding where there's growth and where there's interest. And two, making sure that we're focusing on the quality of student outcomes and those experiences. Education is about much more than just content knowledge. It's really about the development as a person of that student. It's about the experience they go through and what that prepares them to do as a person, personally and professionally moving forward. And so we need to be comfortable with the notion of there being different learning approaches, different pedagogies, different ways to teach different types of content, different disciplines. And we need to use data to one, appreciate that, and two, iterate on it. Because only through iteration are we able to really improve academic outcomes and in the process improve the lives of our students. The business community has a role that is fundamental in education um, because in the short term at least, uh, education and training doesn't create jobs. Uh, in the short term, the jobs create the demand for different kinds of education and training. So the communication between employers uh, and people who educate and train people becomes crucial. Uh, in the longer term, education plays a bit more independent role. If we educate and train our population properly in the short term so that they can be productive uh, at work in the long haul, uh, the skills of the workforce will create more jobs. Sure, so I think students need to be sort of active participants in equipping themselves for the, for the jobs that are out there and then for the, the types of skills that employers are looking for. Um, and so that means doing your homework. You know, what are the, what are the occupations in the, in the community that you want to live in that are actually growing? Um, and okay, then what kind of major do I need? What kind of school do I need to go to uh, to try to attain that level of employment? I think there's a lot of, um, there are some barriers to students actually getting some of that information, unfortunately, and we're, there are some things that we can do to improve that, but it's quite a bit is on the students to actually, you know, be aggressive, go out there and, and try to find the data that they need. Learning needs to be measured. I'm a big data drives decision making. And I don't think the institutions in our higher education delivery system have necessarily always been held accountable to what they're teaching to the students actually learning skill sets that the business community are seeking. And I think that sort of connective partnership with everybody being held accountable, especially when they're getting state dollars or federal dollars, having access to all walks of students, but making sure that they're connected on the business side with producing graduates that actually have skill sets is really, I think, the outlier in who's performing best right now are the institutions and they need to step up and get engaged.